Hi guys, Wartons here and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In today's video we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the brand new survival game Snowball Survival that was released in the mid-season 3 update. Right as the level loads, try to localize yourself within the arena and where you have spawned in relation to the cannon. This information is very useful so you can move out of the way of the initial two rolls right when the level starts. When moving away, I make sure to only step on the pink solid tiles as I want the ice tiles to stay in the game for as long as possible. This game mode is hard enough as it is, so breaking tiles to try and get other players to fall into the holes isn't necessarily the best strategy. The rolling pattern the snowballs will follow will be different from game to game. The pattern you're seeing right now is the most preferable one where one snowball is following the other one. In this scenario you just run around in circles. As you can probably see, the snowballs are getting closer and closer to each other and eventually they will collide. From this point on until the end of the round, it would be much more chaotic and you have to try and look around to try and predict the pattern of the snowballs. This is very difficult as there are some elements of randomness added in whenever the balls collide or roll off the sides. For the first several rounds of snowball survival, it will seem unfair whenever a snowball bounces off in a weird angle and throws you into a hole. But rest assured, after a lot of careful practice, you will be able to read the movement of the snowballs. Here is a different example where the snowballs almost immediately start bouncing off of each other, making it much more chaotic. Here it's impossible to do the run around the middle strat, as the balls are simply not following each other. Throughout this round, I have a lot of uh, very close calls, and one extra spicy one where if the ice had been broken early on, I would have been eliminated. So until you become a master at reading snowball rolling movement, don't break the ice. Obviously at that point, you can try and reduce the amount of players that qualify by breaking as much ice as possible. It is however extremely difficult to both look out for holes in the ice and the snowballs at the same time. Your number one priority should therefore always be to stay clear of the snowballs, as sometimes it can seem like they have a personal vendetta against you whenever they hit you. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, leave a comment down below on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums and you have been you and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye.